Hey guys, so obviously everyone's at home and uh, more than likely feeling a little bit stressed. So I wanted to talk through some of the theories of the different uh, yin yoga poses so that you can use them more effectively at home and also yeah, try and get, make the most out of your hopefully a little bit more spare time. So today I wanted to talk about the butterfly pose. So obviously it's like this. That is actually opening up the liver channel, which starts tip of the toe, comes up with the ankle through here, up into the groin, up into the top of the rib, and it also opens up the posterior chain, like uh, the bladder channel, from about the sacrum, all the way up, back of the neck, through there. So to start with, I thought I'd just talk about the actual mechanics of it. So you're gonna be opening up your abductors, really stretching that out. That's gonna be fantastic for everyone at the moment because when you're sitting at your desk and you're under a little bit of pressure, our body naturally tenses our groin, we're ready to go. So by allowing that to open up, you're gonna actually give yourself a nice little stretch through there and actually potentially stave off some lower back issues from, from sitting around too much. Then by adding, bending forward like this, you're gonna be giving the muscles in the back of the neck and the lower back a chance to kind of relax and open up, which is kind of the opposite of what we'll be doing all day. So just from a biomechanical point of view, that's, that sounds like a great idea. The other side of it in terms of the Chinese medicine aspect of the, the way that the meridians interact and how they can potentially help you get feel better is the liver for us is in charge of the smooth flow and the regular order of things in the body as so like it being able to sleep muscles being able to relax, um, and just a smooth flow of thoughts as well. So if you're at home and you're a bit tense, the muscles are a bit tense and you're finding that you're getting a little bit agitated and hard to think, at night you're unable to get to sleep at that appropriate time, maybe you're feeling more awake at night when you should be feeling more relaxed, that is because from our point of view the liver is in dysfunction. So by using this stretch through here, not only will it be relaxing the muscles that you you know, will be tightening during the day, but it'll also be helping your body get back more, more back into a natural sink of things. So, on top of that, I want to show you some actual acupressure stuff you can do before you go into the pose to help your muscles actually open up and, and fold a little bit more. So, we want to start by moving the liver. And the reason why we want to start by moving the liver is because if the liver starts to move, it actually helps all of the other muscles in the body relax and open up. So it'll actually make it easier for you to fold forward. So to give you a little bit, unfortunately, my legs are pretty good, but if you have a little, look at this leg, that groin's a little bit too tighter than the other. So what I want you to do to start with is we're going to actually use an acupressure point that's on the liver meridian that opens up all the sinews and tendons along there, but also has a generalized relaxing effect on the body. So that will once again help you fold into that, help you sleep better, help the mind be more clear. So it's pretty easy to find. Halfway between the knee and the uh, bone of the ankle, the malleolus, just behind the shin bone, you're gonna find a nice tender spot. That's actually like tender on the yeah, being dizzy. So find that spot. Obviously, don't hurt yourself, and then hold it. And you, yeah, if we're lucky, we're actually going to see my other leg start to fold open. And that is already starting to relax in my groin. That's actually really good. So if you spend, you know, thirty seconds to a minute holding this point, not only will it help all the muscles and tendons in the body relax, but it'll also help you get deeper into the pose. Once again, helping you yoga and helping you feel more at peace and more in sync with nature. So once you've done that point, you can do the other side, or if you're clever, you can do both at once. That will once again help the hip flexors, well, aspects of the hip flexor, um, hip flexors, but more, more importantly, the, the, the abductors starting to relax. Yet yeah, my knee is actually starting to fall out quite nicely now. And once I've held that for a minute, I'm going to then go to a different point. So in between. The bones, so you come in between the big toe and the second toe, so over that little joint juncture, and then right in this space through here, you're going to find a few nice little tender spots. So we're going to hold both of those points at the same time and just give them a little bit of a rub. Find a nice tender spot, there will be one. 
I'll just sit on note itself and just give that a little bit of a massage. So this point that we're massaging now is what the, the Chinese call the Yuan point or the source point for the channel. And what that does is it actually boosts the natural function of that channel and that organ. So that the, like we said, the liver is in charge of the smooth flow of qi throughout the body and also helping the body move in that, with the course of nature, so sleeping at the appropriate time, et cetera, et cetera. So by massaging this spot, we're not only helping everything relax, but also helping the, the body return more into that natural kind of rhythm. Okay. Uh, like for me, there's some of them there, it's good. And this point through here is what's called the law point. And what that does is it open, helps to open up the collaterals of the channel, so the sinews and everything going through there. So by, after doing that, you should already be starting to feel a little bit more relaxed, as well as the sinews a little bit more relaxed. So as you can see, I can really drag my knees in a lot more. I mean, my ankles in a lot more. The next that we want to take care of is the bladder channel. So while we're sitting there like that, you should be stretching the fascia all the way that's coming out through there. So what we can do to accentuate that is we can actually use the C-cleft point, which is kind of thought of as like a reservoir of chi in the body and it's used to flush and open up the open up the channel. So we can actually use that to tell all the muscles down the bladder channel to relax as well as start to extend that fascia. So the easiest way to, to utilize that is where we're going to use the C cleft point, not on the bladder channel itself, but actually its partner, like um you know it's called the Tai Yang partner, the small intestine channel. So bend your wrist like this, there's a nice knobbly bit there, roll over that. And you'll find a little hole there. In that little hole, there is going to be a nice tender spot. And for me, it's about there. So that's going to help the neck, the shoulder blades open up, the rhomboids relax, um, elements of the rotator cuff, as well as like the paraspinals, and even the fascia going down into the sacrum, as well as the hamstrings. So by doing these little self little massage, you'll actually give yourself a better chance of falling deeper into the pose. Your mind will be more relaxed and you'll get a lot more out of it. Once again, I would start with the liver channel because if the liver starts to move, all of the others will start to relax. So do that first and you should already notice that you're falling deeper into the bladder channel. So that started to relax here on me now, so now I'm just going to do my pose again. That feels much deeper for me. I'm uh, more of an acupuncturist than a, than a yoga practitioner, so... I'm not probably not as good as you guys, but hopefully you can see the difference. Thank you.